Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I know it's been a while since I made a video. I think it was like a week or something like that, but I'm back you guys. Um, if this is you guys' first time watching my channel, this is called Live Narc Free and my name is Joy. I am a coach for narcissistic abuse. Um, I have dealt with narcissists for five plus years, so I have a lot of experience dealing with narcissists. Excuse me. Um, so I did want to let you guys know that the sale is still going on until the end of the month. If you would like to try a coaching session with me, one-on-one -on -one coaching session, you can email me at livenarcfree9 at gmail.com. But it's going to be over at the end of the month, which is in a couple days. So make sure you guys go ahead and um, email me if you'd like to try a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. And also, you guys, make sure that you uh, leave me any questions you may have regarding narcissists. And I'll um, answer them in the comment box. Or I'll make a video about it, but leave a question in any comments. That's great. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. It's just going to be a quick one. I just wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys some motivation, some inspiration to kind of keep you going through this whole like um, this process with dealing with narcissists. So this video is going to be called Don't Rush the Healing Process. And um, that's pretty huge because I know a lot of us that have been abused by narcissists, we do have a tendency to want to like move on quickly and get over um, the abuse. And we want, they, people always say the best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. And I definitely don't agree with that because just because you get under someone else doesn't mean that you're going to be healed. Doesn't mean that you're going to be happy. Doesn't mean that you're going to like forget about what happened. I think we all... The experience that you have with a narcissist, whether it was your parent or it was a partner, family member, whatever, um, you never really get over it. Like, you, like you'll like you forgive them. Some people forgive, some some people don't. But, um, like, it's something that will stick with, with you for the rest of your life, you know. It was a very traumatic experience, and I wouldn't wish that on nobody, honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to talk about this today because I, I noticed like a lot of us and, I, and I'm not going to lie, like I was kind of guilty of myself, um, for trying to rush the healing process. Um, because I felt like, I don't know, like the first, the first male narc that I experienced, I was like devastated. I was hurt, blindsided, everything. And it took me a long time to heal from that. And it's crazy because. I ended up meeting a borderline, even though I was still healing, I was kind of like, I had forgotten about it, but I was still like resentful and I was still like, like he didn't, I, I was thinking like he didn't even apologize and he did me wrong. Like, you know what I mean? So I still had those feelings of like resentment and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, but um, yeah, it was just a really traumatic experience, very hurtful and um, yeah, I definitely felt like I tried to rush because what I did was... I, w I didn't date anybody for a while. I want to say it was like over a year. Like I'd be talking to people here and there, but we're not like a serious dating. But then the um, this, the male narc that I was dealing with, it ended in 2014. <coughs> Excuse me. And then that follow the next year, I ended up meeting the borderline. And I was still kind of resentful, still like thinking about what happened to me. Still had this like victim consciousness and um you know i had told the new guy about it and he felt the energy and you know i had let it go but at the same time i was still holding on you know what i mean so you know you may still be healing it still may take you some time so don't like be too hard on yourself or be down on yourself because it might take years you know um depending on how long you was with that person for um it's, it's gonna take some time so just be gentle with yourself i just wanted to come on here to remind you guys like it's okay if it takes a long time to move on from the narcissist and uh because you have soul ties you have the cognitive dissonance you have um the memories and but i think one of the things that will help you guys to like you know keep healing and keep moving forward keep moving on is you know remembering that um the person that they presented to you that's not who they really are they're really um they're really evil, you know, they didn't care about you, they didn't love you, um, they abused you, and they they knew what they were doing, you know, because some people think like, oh, the narcissist doesn't know what they're doing, <coughs> excuse me, some people think like, oh, the narcissist doesn't know what he's doing, he's just mentally um, disordered, even though they are mentally disordered, and, you know, they have a mental problem, 
um, they know that they're abusing you. They know that they're lying to you, cheating on you, and they just don't care, period. So you guys have to keep that in mind. But um, I just wanted to give you guys some like tips or whatever. Um, hold on one second, you guys. Oh, my throat is itching. It wasn't itching all this time until I made a video. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that you guys you know i hate coughing on the um the video i think that ugh, sorry <laughs> but um yeah so um like i said he'll it will take you some time so don't rush the process um again don't try moving on and dating someone else after because you're only going to hurt yourself and you're going to hurt that new person and again like i said i don't like that quote when people say oh the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody new no like be by yourself get to know who you are get to know your likes and your dislikes and don't try to engage in like rebound or um one night stands to get over it because it's only gonna make you feel worse because you know you don't really like that person you know you're not in love with them you're just trying to get over what the narcissist did to you you know what i mean <coughs> excuse me i'm so sorry you guys um so yeah and then again you know you need time and like i said months years to uh process your feelings hold on one second uh <coughs> I had sneezed earlier, so I, you know, sometimes when you sneeze, you it gets like up in your throat, and so it makes you cough. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, you guys. Please forgive me. But um, yeah, process your feelings, accept what happened, grief, cry, cry, cry as much as you want, cry. Uh, but don't like wallow in it. But you know, give yourself like some time. Like it's okay. Like you went through a traumatic experience. You were abused. You were used, blindsided tricked fooled and it's tough to accept that it's tough and it's hurtful it's painful but it happened and it could happen to anybody you're not alone because it happened to me and that's why i share these videos for you guys to let you know that you're not alone and you have someone that you can talk to like that's why i offer the coaching sessions because you know i'm letting you guys know that i'm here for you you know because i, I want to help i want to help everybody here because i'm not gonna lie like i feel like yeah i have recovered from the narcissistic abuse i mean every now and then i'll have flashbacks but i know that they didn't love me i know that they didn't care about me and there was no love lost <laughs> you know what i mean i was the one that loved them they didn't love me so it's like don't i'm not dwelling on someone that didn't care about me <laughs> you know what i mean so i kind of had to think of it like that but and again i know you guys may have people say oh you can't move over that person oh like what did they do that you you know why do you like them so much you know and it is what it is you can't rush that and people think like oh just move on to someone else like no it takes time you got to be patient with yourself you got to be gentle with yourself you know um and then last but not least um and this happened to me you may or may not attract another narc and it's like and you can stand a chance of taking more abuse and repeating the cycle if you don't you know really take the time to embrace the healing you know healing it hurts to heal it sucks to heal because you are feeling all of those emotions and feelings and it, it could be frightening but at the end of the day i would recommend not you know grieving by yourself in the beginning because it's hurtful and painful that's why i said it's good to talk to someone about it that you trust and that you know and um you know to express how you feel express what happened to you and how to not go through that again or not accept that treatment from someone you know so yeah i just wanted to make that video for you guys because i don't know i feel like a lot of us we try to rush the healing process and it's like that's not for you to do like don't rush it just take let it take its time let it take its course go with the flow you're gonna have your highs and your lows but it's all good at the end of the day so yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel if you think this video can bless somebody make sure you share it and yeah you guys if you have any questions or comments about narcissists um narcissistic abuse narcissism leave it in the comment box and i'll make a video about it you guys i really appreciate that and if you'd like to try a coaching session, remember you get $10 off before the end of the month. If you'd like to try a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, email me at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. 
and you guys i will let you know that i am going to be coming out with some video courses some audio courses for you guys um kind of keep you guys going motivated and helping you to continue to heal recover move on and get your closure from narcissistic abuse so i'll see you guys in the next video take care love you guys bye